Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you five tips about Laravel relationship that you might not know about. So let's get started. Here in a category model, I have this parent relationship. And if I show you here in the database inside the categories, I have these data and some of the categories are not linked to a parent. That's why we have null over here and some of them are linked to the parent since they are linked to a parent we have this belongs to relationship to the parent which is the same category now in order to access the parent from the category let me just run this category first i am getting this first category over here and the parent is null now if you try to get the name of the parent like this and just run it then you can see here we will get this attempt to read the property name on null previously we used to get trying to get the property of non-object this is very very common issue in laravel this happens because if we try to only access the parent then parent is null so we are accessing name on parent so it is giving us that issue but in order to solve this issue we have a feature in laravel which is let me show you with default like this if we do it then in the parent laravel will by default return the new category model instance and if we pass name on it then it will return null but not through an error but let's say sometime you want to show some default name if any parent category is not present then also you can do it like this you can pass an array over here and pass a name and let's say default then if you access it it will give us default value so from now on you will never get this issue now let us move to the second tip which is regarding eager and lazy loading you might already know that we could eager load a relationship like this user with logins a user can have many logins i have this has many logins relationship on a user model so with this we can get all the logins of particular users so you can see here i am getting all the logins of this user over here and also all the logins of another also user over here it is working perfectly fine but let's say you don't want all the logins of the user but you want to add some constraint to the logins then you can see here we can add it like this the logins will be the key and in the value we can pass a closure where we can call the normal query builder methods like query where logged in at is greater than now and swap days three which is all logins of the user that are greater than previous three days this will be applied on this logins not on the user so here let me just select it and previously you can see here so many logins data over here of those users but now if i run it then you can see here only two logins of this user and three logins of this user you can see this and this is the eager loading but we can also do lazy loading which means we can load the relationship after getting the data you can see here i am getting the data and loading the relationship like this this is same as this one and this one is also same as this one basically we are loading the relationship after we are getting the results in some scenario we don't want to load the relationship earlier and we pass that users to some classes or some methods and inside that method we want to load the relationship then we can use this feature now let us move to the third tip which is where has a relationship method using this method we can check some constraints on the relationship and show the results so here let me show you there are 10 users over here but one of the users doesn't have any logins which means that this should give us nine so now let me reload it and you will get this nine over here and instead of count we can also do get and if i reload then you will get all the list of users here it will not include the logins but it will actually load the users previously we saw that in this one it loaded the users with logins but here it will only load the users but those users that has the logins over here and you can see here all the nine users over here but here also we can pass some constraint in the second parameter here is the relationship name and here is the closer and inside the closer we will pass the constraint similar to that we have passed in the eager loading or lazy loading of the relationship so here 
it will get all the users those who have at least one login that is greater than previous three days so now if i run it then we'll get only six users and let me try to write here only one over here and reload then we'll get only zero users and let me try it over here let's say two and again run it then i'll get three users now let us move to the fourth tip which is also related to the where has and in this tip i'll show you shorter way of writing things so here you can see here the relationship this is just as previous one that we have discussed where has logins shop three days and get so here if i run it then you can see here i'll get the same results and i'll get same results for all of these two as well now here this code is little bit shorter than this because we are using this short closure instead of this long function name we are using just fn okay it will just reduce the number of characters that we write now similarly there is this where relation method and this one is only for the one liner suppose let's say we have only one condition to check then we can apply this but we have multiple conditions that we need to check here then we cannot use this so here if we use this where relation then we don't have to pass any closure you can see here where relation the name of the relationship and the condition that we want to check which is similar that we have passed over here also let's say you want to check id greater than one or similar to that then also you can do it and now if i just select and run it then also we will get the same results all of these three will give the same results basically this is a little bit shorter now let us move to the fifth tip of the laravel eloquent relationship we have already seen this and this width okay so here if we just run this code then we will see all the users with at least one login that is greater than three days so we'll get those users but if we pass here with then we will get all the logins of that user not those logins that are bound to these constraint and in order to implement this we have to again write the same logic you can see here this logic is written over here and again here also we have to write it twice so here we will do whereas and here with and here if i run it then you can see here this user has only one login and it has three logins that are greater than previous three days so you can see code duplication over here in order to tackle this one there was a new method released in laravel which is with whereas you can see here whereas and with the combination of these two is with whereas now if i just run it then it will give me the same results like this one and you can see here the duplication is removed and it has also made our code much more cleaner and shorter and there are so many more tips about laravel and laravel relationship that are not mentioned in this video and if you like this video then let me know in the comment section below i'll be making more videos like this so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye